Microsoft recently announced something cool and exciting called Applied Skills. This is kind of like a certification, though it's not a certification. Though if you have a certification, it's going to definitely complement that. And if you don't have a certification, well, it'll be great if you get a certification to go with it. I know that might sound a little confusing. And so that's what we're going to talk about coming up. Microsoft has recently released something called Microsoft Applied Skills, and they're telling you that this is the new credentials to verify in-demand technical skills. And this is not necessarily replacing uh, certifications or any of that. This is more of a something that's going to complement if you have certifications. You don't necessarily even have to have certifications to get these, but I think it's going to benefit you uh, really in the real world to do both. This could help get a, help you get a job. This could also help you further your career. And uh, it's, a, it's pretty neat. And uh, so we're going to talk about that first. I did want to say that one thing. I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. I'm trying really, really hard to grow this channel and, uh, and provide free content. Also give away my courses free. Also, I've got a huge discount going on over at examlabpractice.com slash courses. If you go check that out, every one of my courses are discounted right now. Now they have a little video you can watch. Unfortunately, I can't show it because it's copyrighted, but um, Microsoft, um, in the video, they tell you what this is about. And the goal is that these are not necessarily certifications. They are what they're calling applied skills. And they're a type of credential you can get that's open. You can do it anytime you want, whenever you want. And they're very project focused. Uh, and they're a couple hours long. You can spend some time going through. Now, keep in mind, when I say a couple hours, it's an assessment. So it is, it's not an exam where they're going to ask you questions, but they're going to, you're going to do like a little hands-on activity, and, uh, and you got to pass that. But um, essentially, the idea is it's very, very scenario-based, very uh, scenario-driven, and at the end of it, you can, you get credentials, and it's a, uh, like a certificate type thing that associates with your account and you can show that you did it and it's going to look good on your resume. Okay. Now we scroll down here and uh, this is, I think, going to help kind of put things in perspective as well. But let's discuss this a little bit. So first they tell you you can differentiate yourself with Microsoft Applied Skills. Uh, and the great thing about this is it's available right now. It's completely free for a limited time. Now, that does mean that they are eventually going to start charging for this. So um, you might want to dive in and try to do a few of these if, uh, if you're interested and uh, check this out. Right now, it's only offered in English, but eventually they will, of course, start adding uh, additional languages and uh, all of that fun stuff. All right. They do tell you that this is brand new. They don't have as, anywhere near as many of these set up as they're going to. So the goal here is they're telling you that this is more project focused. And so the idea being that in the real world, you're, you might be working on various projects and you need to get that hands-on experience for specific types of scenarios. And that's exactly what these are for. So they're providing specific types of like a real world type scenarios. And you're going to be providing the, doing the hands-on involved in that. Now, the way this will end up working, if you uh, if you go and you check this out, let's take a look here. So it says check out our initial set of credentials. If we open that in a new tab, you can see what they're offering here. So here there is there's 13 results here. Uh, you know, build a natural language processes. If you're doing AI, there's a couple AI things. Here's uh, getting into Microsoft Sentinel. Um, this I was looking at this one myself, just kind of goofing around with it. Deploy and configure Azure Monitor, um, migrate SQL. Here's an Azure file and Azure Storage. So when you go into these, when you actually jump into these and uh, run these, they tell you it's intermediate. This is an intermediate level. It's for administrators. It tells you what it's about. These are the tasks they want you to perform. They also provide you with some uh, documentation you can read. They'll give you some, uh, you can start reading the kind of the learning path. It is self-paced and it's self-learning. Um, and that is one thing I want to talk to all of you about is that um, I'm thinking that they do mention instructor-led and I'm thinking creating like some mini courses on each one of these 
uh, might be something that could benefit everybody, uh, like little mini courses. And it uh, wouldn't be, it'd be something that, like, I'd, I might put out on Udemy that I would, that would be charged, like, almost nothing for it. But anyway, if that's something you think could benefit people on this, I'd be interested to hear from you in the chat. So please uh, comment. Uh, that'd be great. Anyway, you get two hours for the assessments. Um, it looks like most of these, if you've got experience, you can do in, like, 30 minutes. So even though it's two hours... I think that you get that two hours to go through it. You know, if you start getting stuck and all of that, then um, that's when that would that would come in handy. But the great thing about it is, like, you are this is not a restricted environment like an exam is. You can Google stuff, Bing stuff. You have access to all the learn documents. You could literally go watch a YouTube video. <laughs> I mean, um, you could. There's there's lots of stuff there that you could uh, you could do. I don't know if. Uh, Microsoft will be policing uh, people posting videos of the exact steps that you need to perform. So I don't know about all of that, um, but I can imagine they probably will. So uh, I don't know if you could like go and watch a YouTube video on the exact steps you got to go through, or if they've just got so many different scenarios. Uh, I'd imagine that they could probably even use AI to generate different scenarios, like an, an infinite amount of like random randomization. But uh, anyway. It, it, it's you know it's possible also if you fail the assessment so you take the assessment you get two hours you have to wait three days before you can take it again okay so that is uh, that's kind of how that's gonna work all right now if we look down here they got this nice little graphic here it says choose the path that fits your goal career goals desired skills experience so Microsoft certification it validates a kind of a broad technical um, proficiency in a in a particular subject matter so when you pass an exam, you're showing kind of a you know broad perspective of the things that you know. Um, it's role based, so it's a specific role you're performing. Um, breadth of skills, you have a breadth of skills when you do a certification uh, exam. With it has interactive elements, which is good. You do have to do some outside the box thinking. It is scheduled. It's a restricted environment. Your B it is monitored. Okay. Um, now over here with this, these new Microsoft Applied Skills, it validates one specific skill. Uh, so it is very, very focused on one skill, project-based, all right? So it is project, it's, it's sort of like a real-world type scenario. Um, Scenario-specific skills, uh, assessment via interactive lab experience. And so Microsoft will... I don't know, I didn't say that before, but what happens when you do this is you get access to like a virtual machine, and in that virtual machine, they give you access to an Azure environment. That's one of the reasons why if you fail it, you have to wait three days because they are, you know, providing the Azure resources for people to uh, to use this. And then, of course, this is on demand. It is not a restricted uh, environment like a exam is, okay, for certification. Now, I don't think that this is one of those things where people are going to start probably start worrying, oh, certification? No, I don't think certification is going to go away. Uh, I would love to hear what you think about all that in the comments. I think certification is pretty much always going to be here. But I do think that this is a huge uh, complementary to certification. To, uh, to me, and I'm, I'm definitely interested in doing these myself, I think that uh, this is going to uh, provide multiple ways that a company can sh uh, see that you know what you're doing as an as a professional. So uh, anyway, Microsoft says more to come. Definitely, you should check this out. I'm going to put the links to this in the um, description of this video. So check it out. Also, again, I really hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. And uh, also check out examlabpractice.com slash courses because I've got that big discount going on. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please uh, give me some of your comments. I'm interested to hear what everybody thinks about this.